friends, today we're gonna play some Minecraft. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build three simple redstone farms. So without further ado, let's get into the video. things off we have a globe berry farm here we have a little lichen farm and the last one is a red dye farm i'm gonna go in survival mode and start with the globe berry farm so you flick the lever here and just click on the glow light berries like so you can click how much you want then you stop clicking Press the button and the items slowly flow in. It's pretty quite nice. I really like it because glow lichen is hard to find so it's really nice to farm it except gather a lot of it. So if you get one you can just make a simple farm and have 50 of them in less than a minute. Okay so these are the items that you need. So the glowberries and we are going to start things off with the I'm gonna go and create for this here we place a slab here we place a chest on top of the chest there's one hopper another hopper going into that hopper next to place some stairs I just chose co oxidized copper stairs because they look quite similar to moss blocks here you place three moss blocks like so at the back here you are going to place if I position myself right uh, a dispenser we're gonna put some bone meal in just for uh, for the glow lichen to grow here Oh, oh sorry on this side we place uh, one observer on the other side we place another one we make the clock observer clock we quickly switch and place a lever here you switch it like this to turn it off and like this to turn the clock on here at the back you place a block I used a target block but you don't need to and now we have this oh I forgot the most important part you place the glowberries and you click on the top last block so now press it you can harvest it and turn it off okay the next farm we've got here is the glow lichen farm this one works on a pretty similar principle but harvest it you need shears i do recommend enchanting these shears for unbreaking tree and mending because you can burn through shears really quick quite quickly with this so that's what i would recommend look at the lever and just start like breaking the glow lichen like so After you're done, you flick the lever again, turn it off, glow like and flows in, and you have really quite a substantial amount of glow lichen. So we got a stack in five in less than a minute. So glow lichen is really uh, nice if you want to decorate stuff, so you can like place it here just for texturing, like so. And in my opinion, it looks really quite nice. You can place it here and it emits a bit of light. Okay, so this is, this is the stuff that you need to build it. So I'm gonna take all of this here and I am going to start with the chest. Here we have a hopper. Now I place a temporary block here. Sorry, wrong spots 
I'm gonna place it like so. Now, I'm actually gonna keep this temporary block because I need to take the glass here. And another temporary block here, white stained glass here. And the last white stained glass goes here. Now you can break the temporary blocks and you can go on to the redstone part gonna take a lever here you're gonna take your obsidian here and i'm pretty sure i need to go in creative mode on this part yeah so you have the like redstone part of the observer facing that way and another observer facing this way so we're using another redstone clock to turn it off, flick it like that, turn it off, on, flick it like that. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it off now. Gonna take my wall here and another wall here. Let's do dust here. Uh, dispenser here. And now I lock myself in. And the last thing is an obsidian block here so you accidentally don't break the glass when you're mining the glow lichen put some bone meal in the dispenser here the glow lichen there i can take my shears go into survival mode i'm done first i'm gonna let it grow a bit and now i can start breaking it and as you can see it works perfectly okay the last farm for today is a red dye farm. If I recall correctly, you can have all of the dyes that have some sort of two tall flowers. As you can see, all of these were semi-automatic because the player still needed to sit here and break the blocks or click at the berries. But this farm is really quite different in terms of that because this farm is fully automatic so have the color of dye that you want up there flick the lever and it just farms it like that this minecart with hopper picks it up and puts it in here this is i in my opinion one of the best ways to get some dyes um okay so this, these are the items that you need. Of course, you also need the color of dye that you want to farm. I mean the flower with the color of dye that you want to farm. And we start with the chest here. You get a hopper facing in the chest, a rail, a minecart with hopper. Now we place some temporary blocks here. We take the grass block here. We take some wallen blocks. I use moss because I think moss looks nice. So you do it like so. Here you place the dispenser, like so. Rose bush here. And in terms of the flower that you want, you also need uh, some blocks here. I like to put glass so I can see how the farm works. Here you place a block with a lever on top of it with a sticky piston here, some headstone facing this way and an observer facing this way. So now, oh of course you need to put some bone meal on this. So now flick the lever and it's farming like so okay guys so i really do hope that you enjoyed this video it was a ton of fun to make and i hope these couple of simple farms will help you get some free resources so guys i'll see you in the next one bye bye